Shabbat Shalom, Israel. Shabbat Shalom, Israel. I'm the Prophet Shem. We have out here with us Brother Yoram. Shalom. We have Sister Hanaya with us. She's doing the audio and the video. And we are I N E Israelites, not Equalites. We come out here to bring God's words to our people, to enlighten them, to open up their eyes to the truth that they've never heard before. That's right. We come out here to bring them out of a docile state of mind that they've been in since slavery. That's right. And so we're going to start off today with Brother Yoram. He's going to lead us off into some scriptures so that we can hopefully enlighten our people. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Read what it say, brother. But it shall come to pass, mm -hmm. if thy will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses. That all what? All these curses. One parent household. All these curses. Last high, first fire. All these curses. Laying out in the streets dead. All these curses. Can't get your life together. All these curses. Read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. They shall do what, brother? Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. If you don't do what God tell you to do about keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments, he say that he's going to bring curses among you. That's what we are seeing over here in the shores of North America today. That's right. We are seeing the curses from the Most High God. No one else is putting these curses on us but God. We can't put it on anyone else but God because we have been disobedient and haven't did what he required of us by keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. And if we want to come out from up under these curses, we're going to have to come back and cleave to the Most High God. Am I right, brother? That's right. That's what the Bible say. Read on, brother. Read what you got. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 15. Because, verse if, you, because if you don't do what it is that God tell you about keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, these are the things that's going to happen to you. They're going to continue to happen to you as they are happening to you today. Read, brother. Who, whose possessors slay them? They do what? Whose possessors slay them? Read. And hold themselves not guilty. Every time that they kill one of us, when they go to court, they don't never say they're guilty. They don't never take a plea deal. They always hold themselves not guilty. That's right. Read, brother. And they that sell them, saying, Bless be the Lord. For I am rich. Uh-huh, read. And their own shepherds pity them not. And our own so-called preachers, Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, and whoever else want to put themselves on that platform, they haven't done anything for us That's but right. sold us out for money. Everybody always know what kind of commodity we are because they always get money for selling us out. They go from city to city, from state to state, selling us out. And when they get done, they give them a handful of money, and they leave, and they go to the next spot. That's right. But nothing ever gets done because we are continuing to be up under oppression. Tell it. And our own leaders continue to keep us in oppression. Am I right, brother? That's right. That's what this Bible is saying, brothers and sisters. Y'all better come and get with this truth. That's what we better do. Read, brother, what you got? Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6. Read what the Bible say. Let no man deceive you. The Bible says let no man deceive you. With vain words. With vain words. A lot of babbling. Don't know what they're talking about. For because of these things cometh the wrath of Yahweh. See, because if you believe what they're telling you, the wrath is going to come from the Most High God upon you. That's right. We out here only trying to tell you what's the truth. We're not out here trying to get in no confrontations with anyone. We're coming out here in the King James Bible, 
giving you the unadulterated word of the Most High God. That's right. Read, brother. Upon the children of disobedience. Upon the children of who? Disobedience. That's why what's happening to you is happening to you today because you are categorized as the children of disobedience. Am I right, brother? That's right. Read what you got. That's it. And if we don't come out of our disobedience and start to take heed and hearken to the voice of the Most High God, these plagues is going to continue to be on us and our children and our children's children. That's right. Forever and ever. Read what you have, my brother. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Read what the Bible say, brother. And that knowing the time that now it is high time. Now it is high time. High time for what, brother? To wake our sleep. To do what? To wake our sleep. No, just going on with things as usual. To wake our sleep. Read. For now is our salvation near then when we believe. See, because our salvation is getting closer and closer than it was when we first started believing. That's right. Because the days are numbered and the Most High God is yet to return. He will be returning. But nobody knows the days, the hour, the time. No one knows. But we better get our stuff together before he comes. That's right. Because when he comes, it's going to be too late for us to try to decide we want to do right. We want to act right. We want to stop doing our own thing and start doing God's thing. Tell it. We better take heed right now. We better make haste to do what it is that the Most High God says. Read, brother. Titus chapter 1, verse 16. Read what the Bible say, brother. Read, brother. They possess that. What you read? Titus chapter 1, verse 16. Read what it say, brother. They possess that they know God. They say that what? They possess that they know God. They say that they know God. Everybody want to say they know God. Oh, we got a relationship with God. Oh, he did this for me. Oh, he did that for me. Everybody want to say that they have a relationship with God. That's right. Put in works that... But in words, they deny him. But in words, they deny him. Because we can all say that we love God and we have a relationship with him. But we got to put our hard hats on. That's right. And we got to start doing some work for the Most High God. We got to start keeping the long statutes and commandments and show God that we love him. That's right. Being, being abominable and deceit and unto. Being abominable and disobedient. Uh huh. And unto every good work. And to what? Unto every good work. Unto what? Every good work. That's what he said. Being abominable and unwilling to every good works. Reprobate. A reprobate mind. That's right. That means God took his hand off you and you doing your own thing and he don't care nothing about what you do because he's already excluded you from the kingdom. Unless you repent of your sins. You are headed for the lake of fire. Am I right, brother? That's right. That's what the Bible say. That's right. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. That's right. Read what you got, brother. Titus chapter 3, verse 3. Read, brother. For we ourselves also know Sometimes foolishness. We sometimes did foolish things. We weren't always doing the right thing. But we came out of that. So when we come out of that, we expect others to do the same thing. That's right. Because it ain't no harder for us than it is for you. Actually, this is easy. This life that we live, it's better than living a life of sin. It's easier than sinning. That's right. Read on, bro. Disobedient, uh -huh. deceived, serving divers, lust uh -huh. and pleasures, doing all the things of the world, living in mor morris, 
malice, uh -huh. and envy, hateful. Envy and hating one another. And hating one another. And hating one another. That's what we're doing. We continue to hate one another. Not do what the thing that God brought us. That's right. He said, that's the love of thy neighbor 